P.J. O'Rourke says, you know, if government were a product, selling it would be illegal. Government is a help as it. Governments have killed many more people than cigarettes or unbuckled seatbelts ever have. <laughs> PJ, um, yeah, I just like to contrast PJ with uh, Ecclesiastes, where uh, Ecclesiastes says that um, every for a high one over a high one is watching. Um, there's always another government official watching out for each one that's maybe, yeah, maybe there's a government official pocketing, taking bribes, um, a corrupt judge, but hey, there's going to be another um, official out there to uh, report him. Um, you know, snitching goes a long way in the government. Um, <clears throat> then uh, Robert um, I really don't know how to say his last name, the fever. If men are good, you don't need government. If men are evil or ambivalent, you don't dare have one. Now, this reasoning again, I mean, you know, Romans 13 says, let every soul be subject to high authorities, for there is no authority except from God. Um, <clears throat> anyone, you know, I mean, look, in the scripture, if you're familiar, in the book of Judges, um, the nation of Israel didn't have a government for a while, and every man did what was right in his own eyes, and you can see this in other countries as well, where there's been a war, um, and um, <clears throat> yeah, having no government at all, um, has serious consequences where, um, yes, the government rulers are evil too, but um, <clears throat> complete disorganization, um, yeah, a bad government is definitely better than none at all when you, you certainly look at situations where there's been no government. Um, Harry Brown says the government is good at one thing, it knows how to break your legs and then hands and then hand you a crutch and say, see, if it weren't for the government, you wouldn't be able to walk. And uh, I guess contrast this with Proverbs chapter 8, by me kings reign and rulers decree righteousness, rulers and nobles rule by me, and all judges of the earth. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I can't remember Harry Brown's religion. Um, but, yeah, I notice that a lot of libertarians are very, you know, atheistic. I mean, there are definitely religious libertarians as well, but um, a believer in the scripture can obviously say, well, God is in control. Um, you know, God ordains the government. So we don't have to worry. Believers can sit back and relax, say, hey, we don't have to worry about the government trying to destroy us, whereas I do understand atheists with a very sort of free will view of the world, they can never really relax because they don't know that, you know, they can't say, well, God's in control. Um, so I do understand the concerns of atheistic people. Um, they can't relax because they don't have a sovereign God. Um, Lord Acton, power tends to corrupt, and absolute power corrupts absolutely. Contrast this with Matthew 22, where Jesus says, Show me a tribute coin, and they brought a denarius to him. And he said to them, Whose image and inscription is this? They said to him, Caesar's. And he said to them, Give, give to Caesar the things of Caesar." Um, <clears throat> yeah, so, I mean, again, this concern that there's going to be a corrupt government is is just highly overrated. You just give the government your taxes. They're just not interested. As long as you give them your taxes, <laughs> I'll leave you alone. Um, John Locke says, whenever the legislators endeavor to take away and destroy the property of the people or to reduce them to slavery and arbitrary power, they put themselves into a state of war with the people who, 
are thereupon absolved from any further obedience. Contrast this with Romans 13. You can read it. It just talks about being subject to the authorities. And it's an interesting thing in verse 3 where it says, For the rulers are not a terror to good works, but to bad. If you do good, you will have praise from it. The rule, the rule is not a terror to good works. And, you know, people like John Locke make it sound like if you're just living your life quietly and obeying the government, that they're going to try to burn down your business and steal every you do. Yeah, um, make it sound like they're going to burn down your business and steal your kids. And, um, <clears throat> But, you know, the, the Roman Sardine says, they'll oh, leave you alone, don't worry about it. Um, George Mason says, when the same man or set of men hold the sword and the purse, there is an end of liberty. Um, contrast this with First Peter chapter 2. Um, talks about being in obedience to governors. who are vengeance to evildoers. Um, uh, I don't understand, like... The, the person holding the sword is going to have to hold the purse because how are you going to pay the person with the sword if they don't have the purse? But again, I guess an atheistic guy just scared of it, scared of uh, <clears throat> you know not he doesn't have a sovereign god to rely on. So I guess that's why he's so worried. Um, P.J. O'Rourke giving money and power to government is like giving whiskey and cocky to teenage boys. Um, yeah, I just thought I'd bring up the American Revolution um, and contrast that with First Timothy for kings and all the ones being in high position. They should live a quiet existence, obviously rebelling against the King of England, King George III, I think, uh, was not living a quiet life. Um, it wasn't rendering to Caesar the things that it seizes. Um, <clears throat> yeah. They obviously should have been praying for the king, not rebelling. Uh, Lou Rockwell says, I have never understood the people who claim the universal perverseness of human evil means that we need a strong state. What guarantee do we have that the people who run the state will be less evil than those who are run by the state? Again, someone worried that someone evil is going to get in power, but the scripture says that everyone's evil, so we don't really have much choice. Um, 1 Corinthians um, flesh and blood is not able to inherit the kingdom of God. I just wanted to say that a lot of people are very worried that the America or Australia or England, they are going to be in a bad government and it's going to mess up a wonderful history or a wonderful country and it's going to get messed up by a particular government. But anyone that's a believer in the Bible um, knows that the kingdom of God is a spiritual kingdom. It's not... Um, it's not of flesh and blood, so you don't have to worry about these governments. A political regime cannot threaten a spiritual kingdom. Um, Plato said, good people do not need laws to tell them to act responsibly, while bad people find a way around them. Again, yeah, John chapter 8, my kingdom is not of this world. I guess Plato's having a shot at the useless, saying that government's kind of useless. Um, as Plato's having a shot um, at the necessity of government, saying the government isn't necessary. Um, but yeah, I mean, um, Christ says my kingdom is not of this world, so um, <clears throat> yeah, so I mean, you know, saying that people, law is unnecessary, um, just because bad people won't will find a way around it. Um, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> the jails are full of people. I mean, they they might get around it a few times, but it's going to catch up with them. Um, it's better to die on your feet and uh, then live on your knees. Um, says a Mexican revolutionary. Um, yeah, I guess Ephesians 1 says he's, Jesus, God put all things under Jesus' feet. Um, so again, it's a, the millennium is now, um, it's, it's a spiritual kingdom. 
it's a kingdom in the minds or hearts of believers. Um, it's already happened. The Gentiles have been, you know, are being converted, have been converted. It's a kingdom now in, in men's hearts. So, um, I don't care, you know, I don't care if I'm on my knees because it's, it's not a physical, um, it's not a earthly kingdom. So I believe it doesn't worry about that. Unlike, uh, you know, an unbeliever that, yeah, they will be concerned. They will say, like, you know, I'd rather die than serve another person, but, you know, Believers won't have any problem with that.